saw the terrifying moments when a young hockey player suffered a concussion. Doctors say this is one of the worst times of year for head injuries, with school sports starting up again and people active out in the nice weather. And even if you take precautions, Filipov tells us you can still end up with a serious injury. Eric Track remembers the road. When I came over the top of the hill, I started to go down. And his speed. Doing about 30 miles an hour. But that's about it. So everything going forward is based on what the two other riders saw. Those cyclists saw Eric lose control when his rear tire blew, swerving to the right, the left. And then I think my, my bike almost jackknifed, I believe, and I shot over the bars. Eric was out cold for nearly nine minutes. And the next thing that I kind of remember vividly was being in the ambulance. Rushed to a trauma center in Boston, some of Eric's injuries were obvious. Road rash on his left arm and leg. I may have a broken rib um, and a, potentially something wrong with my shoulder, but the big concern is the, the head. There's not great data, but intuitively, I know that if somebody's unconscious for more than five minutes, that's pretty severe. Dr. William Mullally is director of sports neurology at Brigham and Women's in Foxborough. He says Eric's brain scans showed no sign of hemorrhages or contusions. But you're not going to see the little damage. That can be very severe. Instead, Mullally says patients will feel the symptoms headaches, confusion, problems sleeping, or sleeping too much. All indicators you need to recognize, even if you think you weren't hurt that badly. There's no telling how long those symptoms might last. We're going to get better at this. So there are actually blood markers that they've just started looking into that go up when there's a traumatic brain injury. Identifying when those blood markers peak and for how long after a traumatic brain injury could help doctors refine a diagnosis and treatment in the future. For now, Eric's off his bike for 90 days. This is the crack and the helmet did. I believe it did what it was supposed to do. And incredibly, Eric bought that high tech helmet just days before the crash, and he believes it likely saved his life. Phil Lipoff, WCVB, New Center 5.